I think what we need to understand as journalists is that we need to curate and build out our social media presence, but it doesn't substitute for good old-fashioned reporting, writing, production, um, understanding how to get information from sources. Uh, one of my colleagues coined the term the tradigital journalist. This is the traditional journalist with digital skills and a digital overlay. And that, I think, makes a lot of sense. So we should all aim to be a tradigital journalist. We should also, I think, think about um, the idea of being an early tester and late adopter in the work we do so that you're not always uh, jumping into everything, but you're testing it out to see if it makes sense for you. There's a new kind of media diet that we need to have, or at least to change the media diet we have already. And part of that is looking at this website called Mashable. Mashable is all about social media and does a really good job of covering beyond social media, what are ways in which people are communicating and connecting in today's world. And so to uh, go to that site, uh, someone like me, I might check it three times a day. Uh, I think most journalists should look at it at least a couple of times a week so that they understand some of the trends out there and see if they can pick up tips that make sense for them. Doesn't mean you have to do everything that's out there, but the things that make sense for you, you should follow up on. Journalists can benefit from social media for four reasons. One, it can help you find new stories, new ideas, new trends. Two, it can help you connect deeper and better with your audiences, plural. The third is that it can help you get more eyeballs and attention to your work. And fourth, it can help you enhance and curate and build out your brand. Taken together, it's one of the most important ways in which journalism has changed in recent years. But I'll still go back to the idea that reporting, 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 storytelling is still the key of being successful. Social media is a layer on top of that. If I knew the future of social media, I'd be very rich and not hanging out at journalism conferences. I'd say part of it is more personalization and more uh, um, uh, uh, kind of geolocation to find out what people are doing, where they're doing it, and uh, the ability to have more multimedia shared rather than just text and photographs. And that's what I think is going to happen.